I think we had a question from Dennis. Dennis, I know something is is sticking, and and you want to ask something. I, you see, you see, Sherry, this smile. This is the smile of a man who has a question I burning so. behind his. <laughs> Go ahead, Dennis. Yeah, I, I love the conversation about the accountability and also resources for nonprofits because I, I've had my hands on a couple of nonprofits. I've seen the inner workings, and I'm very curious to to ask you about how do organizations continue to stay accountable and responsible when technology moves and changes so rapidly, especially for the smaller ones that are trying to keep up? What's what's a reasonable expectation for them in order to be able to implement good practices, stick with them, adapt as technology changes? Because something that kind of comes to mind is that we look at organizations such as the government, for example, like the, one of the biggest bureaucracies, the tons of people working, tons of people doing stuff, and they are not keeping up with good practices necessarily a lot of the time. Like they're far, far behind in terms of keeping up with what technology offers and provides. How do we expect smaller organizations and nonprofits to, to keep up as well and be responsible? Or, or what does a picture of responsibility looks like for smaller organizations? I think for me, it's about sticking to the basics. And that's a very big question, Dennis, but I, I, I can't imagine a nonprofit organization, especially who's able to keep up with everything. But if we keep up with the basics, such as consent, such as being responsive and responsible when collecting data, even if it's, you know, most organizations can't afford a very technologically advanced even knowledge management system. So it means that even if you're just doing this in Google spreadsheets, make sure that you control access to those things, right? It's I think it's more important to get the very basic things right that your staff are already doing instead of aiming so high that you create an unattainable ceiling for yourself that you're just you're just not going to be able to do it because at the end of the day, um, as was pointed out earlier as well, even certain positions like having someone just be their full time job is data management and those sort of things. I know very little organizations who in the first however many years of their existence can afford that. But what I will also say is if organizations are really committed to this and if they get the basics right in terms of just ensuring that they are transparent, they're accountable, and they re they really preserve the rights of others, then I also think they, sh I think we should speak up as social impact organizations when it comes to donor funding. I think we should make efforts to also say that, look, as an organization, we really want to prioritize X. We really want to be accountable in the following ways. And that will cost X number of man hours and these technological tools that come with subscriptions or purchases or or whatever and we need to start building this into our proposals and we need to start having these conversations because i think it's it's not it's not good enough for us to say that it comes at a cost if we're also not pushing that and quantifying it to the people who in very many ways can help us overcome the stumbling block that is costs and resources